Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you, oh my word, a DIY that I am so sticking excited about using pages from a book. Now, this is a book that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and as I totally respect that doing book DIYs may not be for some, it is something that I really enjoy doing because I feel like it's one of those things where you can repurpose a book that you're finding at the Dollar Tree and it was a dollar. Do I think it's disrespectful to the author? I absolutely do not. I think that it's just a creative artistic way of using a book and I don't feel like I'm disrespecting anybody and I did want to put that out there because in my last book DIY I did get some people who weren't happy with me for doing a DIY using a book they felt like I was defacing it and I don't feel that way I just feel like I am an artist I am a creator and I am incorporating somebody else's work of art into my work of art today's DIY is doing just that this DIY is so quick easy budget friendly and not only is it all of those things but you're gonna get multiple of this DIY with just one book this is such a fun festive piece that I think you're absolutely gonna love so let's not waste any more time Time. let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for today's DIY using some pages from a book you're not gonna want to miss this alrighty so getting started with today's DIY when picking out your book I would not pick a book out that's any smaller than this size book here if you want to go larger you can totally do that but this is the perfect size book here when I was picking out my book, I will tell you that I made sure to pick one out that had a lot of pages in it because I most definitely wanted to get more bang for my book, which is more DIYs. I'm going to start off by removing five pages at a time and you're going to need seven or eight sets of five pages. Then I'm gonna head on over to Google and I'm gonna do an image search. You can click on image here and just type in whatever it is you're looking for. So in my case, I'm looking for a Christmas tree template. And as you're typing it, you'll see that a template comes up, a printable template will come up. So by clicking on those, all of your trees will pop up that you have to choose from. There are endless amounts of trees, so pick one that you like. I really like this tree here, so I'm gonna click on this tree when I click on it it's gonna bring the tree up off to the side here. Once it comes up off to the side, you can either right click it and save it to your computer in your downloads, or you can place a piece of copy paper, printer paper on your screen and gently trace it. And that way you're saving printer ink. If you don't have a printer, it's gonna work out better. If you wanna print it out, print it out and you're good to go. I went ahead and I print mine out because I like to save mine. I have a bin of templates. When I cut mine out though, I did alter the trunk of the tree a bit because for this DIY, this trunk wasn't gonna work. It was gonna be just a bit too thin. And so just by kind of altering it and making it a bit thicker, you can see that I made it work for me. I'm gonna go ahead and place my template on top of one stack of five pages that I have because remember we've got seven or eight of them and you wanna work with the entire stack when you're doing it. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace out my tree on the center of my pages. Now when cutting out your trees, I will say that it is quickest and easiest to cut out your stack of five together. Just cut them out all at once and again you're going to have seven or eight stacks of five now if trees aren't your thing do a stocking do a santa head do bells get creative make this diy your own i personally just love the rustic feel of a tree and so that's what i'm doing today but i may get creative and do a stocking one i think a stocking or a bell would be really cool or even a snowman once you've got your stack of five of whatever it is you're cutting out, so in my case it's trees cut out, 
I'm gonna go ahead and fold these trees in half. Now, because these are kind of a fun shaped tree, the best way to make sure that you're folding it in the center is to make sure the trunk is folded right in the middle. Once I've got it folded, I'm gonna take one tree, one sheet, and I'm gonna set it aside, taking the four that I have here, and I'm gonna take a stapler, and I'm gonna put two staples in the center where that folded crease is. Now taking some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of Walnut Stain, and yes, that is a cotton ball you see in my hand because for this DIY, a cotton ball is gonna go quicker. I'm gonna just dab my cotton onto the ink pad and I'm gonna run it along the edges of my tree. Now, because each stack of trees that stapled together has four paper trees, because we set one aside for each stack, I'm gonna take my cotton in and I'm gonna distress all four pages, front and back. And so, yeah, that is a bit of distressing, but when you use a method like the cotton ball to do it, it really only takes about 30 seconds to do each sheet. And so, is it a bit of work? It is, but it's worth it because I love that aged, distressed look that inking the edges gives. And again, if I sound like a broken record, it gives it character. Now don't forget about those trees that we set aside. We're gonna distress those on the front and the back side as well. So you can see that this is the set of four trees that we distressed and we've got these staples that are going down the middle. We're gonna take that single tree that we set aside and we're gonna use it to cover up those staples because why would we have those staples show if we could cover them up with another tree? And so to do that, I'm just gonna place a bit of hot glue right down that center crease and I'm just gonna place this single tree right in the center there, in turn, covering up our staples. To give our tree that kind of 3D effect, if you just take and kind of open up your tree and really make those creases kind of sharp on both sides of the tree, it will open it up and kind of fan it out. And that's the look we're kind of going for for this. Look at how cool that looks. It's so pretty. And on the back side, you want it to be flat. You don't want it to be fanned out entirely. So we're going for that flat back, but the fanned out front. And so again, you can see that I made seven or eight of these. No, I made eight of these, but I only actually ended up using seven. Because this is gonna be a garland, I need a string. And so the string that I'm using is this thicker twine that you can get in a one pound bundle at Walmart for, I wanna say 297. You're gonna cut a piece of this twine to the length that you want your garland to be. Now remember, when you're choosing your length, you also wanna incorporate the ends that you're gonna kinda of put loops on to hang it. Once you've chosen the size that you want your garland to be, if you fold it in half and you start gluing your trees right on that center point, you'll get everything spaced out evenly and your garland won't be off center. Kinda of just a quick, easy trick. Once I've got my center tree glued, and I'm gonna put a fair amount of hot glue on this, I'm gonna work off to the right side and the left side, evenly placing the rest of my paper trees. When doing this tree, I really wanted something that was simple, rustic, and farmhouse, but this was feeling just a bit too simple to me. It was feeling incomplete, it was missing something, and once I kind of pondered it a bit, I thought, you know what, I've got those berry garlands in the red and the gold from the Dollar Tree. I think that by adding the red berry garland, just kind of twisting it around the twine string, it's gonna add just that touch of color that I feel like this DIY is missing. And so I love this garland. I picked up two of each color and I think that this is the perfect finishing touch to this garland. I know, I know, it would have been a lot easier to wrap this berry twine garland around my twine before I put the trees on the twine, but you know what? I didn't know I wanted to use it. It's an easy addition, and as I'm putting this on, I knew immediately that this was it. This was what this garland needed. Now again, 
If this is not for you, I say get creative. You know, take what you like from this DIY, leave what you don't, add more to it, make it your own. But I really, really wanted to go with something simple and rustic. And I feel like this just screams simple and rustic. If you are in need of a good laugh, this week, Kayla is doing another one of those videos where she does her version of a voiceover on one of my DIYs. So make sure to head on over there. You can find the link to her video in the description box below. This garland is so much fun. It was quick, it was easy, it was budget friendly, and would you look at the outcome of these trees? I love it, and it was such a fun way to incorporate that berry garland that you can get at the Dollar Tree right now. It's simple, and sometimes I think that less is more and simple is elegant, and that's what I love about this piece. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY using the pages from a book and making it into this garland in back of me. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes, because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow, and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and...